Welcome to Deloitte's Generative AI Moment, a weekly dose of information for government leaders to better understand the rapidly evolving field of generative AI. This week's episode, considerations for how organizations can enable the use of generative AI. What are the components of a Gen AI application? A typical Gen AI application, if you look at it, consists of a backend model, which is a large language model, which is really doing all of the generative tasks for you, a database where you are going to dip in to pull the data to send to the prompt or to, in terms of persisting the data that's coming back from the prompt, integration wherein not only the database but also API integration wherein you might be wanting to look at transcripts that are actually coming from different meeting services or any of that like to be sent to the prompt, and lastly the storage wherein you are going to keep all of the unstructured data such as audio, video, text, etc. So I spoke about the components of a Gen AI application, but what does it really take in terms of accelerating this Gen AI applications for the enterprise user? First and foremost, how do I allow swappability with respect to my large language model? Number two is how do you provide security and access control? The third piece is logging and metering so that you can actually start to understand who is using what large language model and how the financial ramifications of that are. And the last one being the most important, which is how do you make sure these prompts that are going in and out of some of these large language models are trustworthy?